LG, J Style, Low Beast, Mobile User HT here, and today I'm doing a video on the HTC 10, or HTC 1M10, or the HTC M10, guys. Uh, this one got announced today by HTC, the HTC flagship phone for 2016 is now here. They announced it today, it's called HTC 10, which is interesting. So, this is the fourth anniversary of the HTC 1M line, guys, from HTC. So, well, that's good. Um, you know, that's the front of the phone, man. Quick specs on top. I'm just in one of the outcomes. So yeah, you gotta ask me to check that out. And I'll give you guys more specs on the phone here. Also, like I said, it got, uh, announced today, April, uh, 12th. Um, the screen that has a 5.2 inch display, it's a 2K quad HD display at 1440 by 2560 pixels. Uh, it has a uh, 12 megapixel camera with 4K videos with flash, 4 gigabytes of RAM, a Snapdragon 820, 3000 mAh battery, uh, 6.8.1 6, 6 Marshmallow, 32 with 64 gigabyte version in the micro SD card slot. And it uh, is 9, it's 9 millimeters thickness and 161 grams. You got some pictures of it first. If I go in, yeah, if I go in, definitely. Just get this thing to load here. Uh, y'all, 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 see the back. That on the back kind of looks like the one in the eight on the um, one in the nine on the back a little bit. One in eight on the back. Uh, here it is from all sides. Uh, at the top, I guess that's the headphone jack. Um, there's your screen there. Uh, it has a physical home button, which is interesting. Um. The camera does stick out a little bit, but you guys can see that in the uh, metal picture there, it sticks out a little bit. Um, it looks like the one in eight, in my opinion, on the back, in terms of camera and stuff. Oh, uh, you got your HTC logo there, and the back on the top, looks like a noise cancellation microphone. Uh, that pinhole on the um, left side on the phone, that probably looks like a SIM card slot, maybe, I guess. Uh, if you guys can see that on the uh on the back on the backside picture, yeah, yeah, guys can see the volume keys and the power button are on the same side, guys. Um, like I said, you got the home button, you got the HTC wallpaper on the bottom of the phone, guys. You got a microphone, USB port, uh, and speaker. I think it's USB Type C, I think, and then you get full colors. Uh, you get get you get like a goldish color, white, black. And I think that's it. Maybe three colors, or maybe maybe three colors for that one. Here's the front of it again. There it is in white, black, and there's also another phone called HTC 10 Lifestyle. It's pretty much the same phone. I'm not sure what the difference is between the two. I really can't tell the difference. But there's the pictures, guys. On the back, it, it looks like the one I made on the uh, back. Um. So yeah, um, there's the pictures, guys. Um, let's go back to the specs here. Just give you this second to load here. Um, I'll have to zoom in so yeah, y'all guys get better details on the specs and stuff like that. Also, it supports DSM, CDMA, HSPA, LT, of course. Announced April April 2016. Uh, April 2016 is the release date. But I'm throwing it right now, I'm saying it as May, as a release date, but it depends on what you look on. Uh, the phone weighs 5.68 ounces. Uh, it's a single SIM, nano SIM, or dual SIM. Nano SIM, dual standby, it depends on what region you get the uh, HTC 10 from. The, in the US, it'll be single SIM, guys, nano SIM. Uh, it has a super LCD 5 compassive touchscreen. Like I said before, guys, it has a quad HD 2K display at 1440. By 2560 pixel resolution at 565 ppi. So the screen should look pretty well. It should look pretty good. Um, so this display should look pretty nice on here. Uh, I think the one in nine had a uh, full HD display. I think. Um, so yeah, uh, it has multi touch of course. Corning with a glass four. HTC Sense 8.0 on the interface. So you get this on there. I'm not sure what fits that on the HTC Sense 8. I'm not sure. 
uh, you gotta ask Pyro look up YouTube for HCC Sense 8 videos. Uh, Android 6.0, 6.0.1 6 Marshmallow with uh, Sense 8, like I said. Uh, it's a uh, quad core Snapdragon Qualcomm processor, Snapdragon 820. It's a uh, dual core 2.15 gigahertz Cairo, and then a dual core 1.6 gigahertz Cairo processor there. That's what kind of chipset it has in there. It has a Gen 530, uh, SD card up to 2 terabytes, and day 2 or 64 gigabyte versions. Um, I think the US carriers will sell both, depending on the carrier you, that you get it from in the US. So that's good, and you get 4 gigabytes of memory there, so it should do pretty well with that. Also, the RAM and the ROM are the same on the Galaxy 7, it is in the 1 and 10. But the but the HTC 10 has a 64 gigabyte version. Uh, you get two uh, cameras on the 110, of course. Uh, 12 megapixel camera with OIS laser autofocus. That's interesting because they're taking the page from LG's book with that laser autofocus. Um, I, I personally I personally can't tell about the laser autofocus. It, the laser autofocus has never worked for me on my LG G style of gas. My G style has the um laser autofocus and it, and it has never worked for me. Uh, has dual LED flash, dual twin flash, which is good. Has an f.18 amperature and runs, I guess. Uh, it features, uh, a one, uh, um, what the hell that, how the sensor size, uh, it features geotagging, uh, touch focus, face detection, HDR panorama. Um, video recording, it does 4K videos at 30 frames per second. Full HD at 60 frames per second and 720p HD at 120 frames per second, and you also get HDR stereo sound receiving. Um, five megapixel rip, five, five megapixel front facing camera with a 1.8 aperture lens, OIS autofocus, full HD video and HDR, and all the yeah, and you get autofocus as well. I think I mentioned that already, and you get full HD videos. On the front camera at 30 frames a second in HDR, you get your standard uh, vibrate rate types, uh, loud speaker, yes, uh, hit 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, yes, high res audio. I wonder how good that's gonna be. Um, the Wi Fi connections and connections here you get Wi Fi 802.11 ABG and an AC dual band Wi Fi or direct DLNA hotspot. Bluetooth 4.0 and uh, all that good stuff. GPS, of course. NFC, which is good. Uh, don't think it supports wireless charging. I don't think it does. Uh, no radio. Um, but if it has the Sprint version, I think you will get a radio on the Sprint version, I guess. Because the Sprint phones, they get next radio on the Android phones. Uh, USB 3.1, Type-C 1.0, reversible connector. So it is USB 3.1. So that's new. Uh, you get a fingerprint sensor. I think it's in the home button. I think that's the only place I could find it. That's the only place I know where it's at. Uh, you get a cellular gyro proximity compass. Messaging, you get your standard messages there. HTML5 browser. Java no. You get fast charging. Um, 50% in 30 minutes. Quick car quick charge by Qualcomm 3.0. Google Drive, you get 100 gigabytes of Google Drive storage. I think included. I'm not sure how that works exactly. Noise translation microphone, um, document viewer, photo video editor. You get a 3000 mAh hour battery, you cannot remove it, so the SD card is where the SIM card slot is. So that's on the uh, left side of the phone, guys. If you guys see a little pinhole on the, on the left side of the phone, guys, that's where the SIM card and the micro SD card slot go, okay? Uh, you, you get 456 hours of standby time. And 27 hours of talk time, and the colors that you get depends on the carrier. You, you, you get carbon gray, topaz gold, and glacier silver. So you get three colors, guys. I thought you got four, but you get three. Uh, so yeah, they're nice colors, not bad. Um, three carriers in the US are getting the sun as of now. Sprint, T Mobile, and Verizon are will be carrying the HCC 10. ATT will not be selling the HCC 10 for some damn reason. I'm not sure why that is. Um, as of right now, AT&T will not be selling the HTC 10. As of right now, they may sell it in the future. But as of now, but as of now, AT&T says they will not be selling the HTC 10. 
I'm not sure why, but I'm sure that that's, that's going to piss off a lot of uh, AT&T customers because I'm sure that a lot of AT&T customers probably want the HTC 10 here, guys. Um, so if you guys are on AT&T and guys want the HTC 10, you guys have to buy an unlocked version or buy a T-Mobile version and put it on the AT&T because as of right now, AT&T is not getting the HTC 10, which I think is fucking stupid. And it's going to bite them in the ass and it's going to uh, piss off a lot of... AT&T customers who like HTC friends and all that, so just so then guys know that uh, Sprint, T-Mobile, and Verizon will be picking up HTC One M10. AT&T will not be picking it up as of right now. That could change in the future, but from what I read, AT&T is not getting it, which I'm not sure why that is. That's fucking bullshit. Um, I think the unlocked uh, One M10 might be six fifty. I guess unlocked. I guess. For the 32 gigabyte version, then like 750 for the 64 gigabyte version of the one I'm saying. I'm not sure the exact prices are unlocked for the different. I'm not sure, but I'm just guessing. Um, so it's not a bad phone. I mean, uh, not bad at all. It, on the front, looks different. I think it's supposed to have boom sound. I think it's supposed to have. I don't. I can't really tell if it has boom sound or not. I don't think it does. But you do have an ear piercing, your front facing camera on the top there, and the home button at the bottom. I think that's a uh, fingerprint scanner as well. Uh, so they're taking uh, Samsung features there from the home button. Uh, it does have Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 for that. Um, charge 50% in 30 minutes. Um, you said, yeah, if you guys got a Qualcomm 3.0 charger, you should work with this phone, no problem. Uh, it doesn't support wireless charging. Um, even though it doesn't have NFC, it doesn't support wireless charging, so, you know, that's bad there, you know, but it is what it is, yeah, but no, it's not a bad phone at all, it's a pretty good phone, and the phone should do well when it gets, uh, released, uh, in April or May, whenever, it depends on where you go, um, hopefully that the HTC 10 will bring, hopefully the HTC 10 will bring HTC back into the play and field on the, on the smartphone market guys because they've been uh because they've been slacking lately and they've been uh and they, they've been doing terrible for the last couple of months now hopefully that the flagship phone for 2016 will get htc back in the game and hopefully it'll help htc out guys because i do like htc phones guys and i'm a big fan of htc and i hope that this one will help them out and the, also the htc 10 lifestyle fan they also announced that today as well i don't know the difference between the two phones if you guys Notice any difference between the flags of the HTC 10 and the HTC 10 lifestyle. Let me know in the comment section video. But other than that, I don't know what the two differences are. The two difference between the two phones are. Um, I don't know what features are on this phone. I don't know. Hopefully, this phone has adaptive storage on it. Hopefully, it will have it because that would really be nice. Even though you, even though you get a lot of memory with that. Um, in terms of turning memory, guys, like I said, you, you like I said, guys, you, you, you guys get two storage options: 32 gigabytes or 64 gigabytes. On the 32 gigabyte version, I think you get like 25 available to you, 25 gigabytes, and then on the 64 gigabyte version, you get like 55, 58 gigabytes available to you. I'm not really sure, something like that. I think it's like 25 on the 32 gigabyte version available. Then it's like 55 or 58 on the uh, 64 gigabyte version. So that should be plain enough to put all your apps and stuff like that. And it does have an SD card slide up to two terabytes. So put all your media files on the SD card. It will help you find out. And hopefully this phone have adaptive storage. But hopefully this phone will have adaptive storage. That will help out a lot. And um yeah. Um like I said, hopefully this phone will help HTC out. Yeah, hopefully it will, cause you know I don't I don't I don't I don't want HTC to fail and then you know get their asses you know fucked up and get and like get left behind. Hopefully that the HTC 10 will help them out and hopefully get them back into playing field and hopefully that they'll uh, start improving and hopefully they'll start making good friends and hopefully they'll uh, start uh, having a good 2016 guys. So um, we'll see about that and we'll see how the HTC 10 plays out guys for HTC. Hopefully this one will help HTC out guys because I don't want HTC to fail. I don't. I want them to succeed the best to their abilities. Um, I know they got the, um, I know, I know that they got the, uh, the fucking um staff to do it and all that shit to, uh all that um they had to beat all this shit on the one and seven and all that shit so i mean come on man hopefully this one will help htc out 
So uh, we'll just have to wait and see, guys. Um, but it's coming out this month. Sometimes they, they announced it today, May twelfth. I mean, April twelfth. Sorry about that. April twelfth today. And um, yeah, it should be out sometime in April. But on Fender right now, it says May, but I think it'll be out in April. But we'll have to wait and see. But like I said before, guys, T-Mobile, Sprint, and Verizon are picking up the HTC 10. AT&T is not getting it as of right now. But that may change in the future. And uh, I don't know about U.S. Cellular. I don't know. They might get it as well. But I know that AT&T, I know that uh, AT&T is not getting it. Um, T-Mobile, Sprint, and Verizon are getting it. Definitely getting it. Um, AT&T is not getting it for some damn reason. I'm not sure why that is. But that's gonna fuck AT and T in the ass, and it's gonna make a lot of customers pissed off about that. So um, I'm not sure how long this video is, but yeah, um, I, I really didn't go too much detail. I just talked about the specs and gave you guys my opinion on it, and give you guys my thoughts on it. I don't, I don't know what features are on the one M10. I'm not sure. Um, whatever features are 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 in Sense Eight that should be on this phone. I think Sense Eight is new as of this phone release. So yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, guys. Give me a thumbs up, guys. Really helps me out a lot. I'm not sure how long this video has been going on for. I hope you guys stuck around for the whole video and listen to my uh, thoughts and opinions about the 110. Um, please rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video. Peace.